Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is... SNKRX? SnakeRX? I don't know. Context clues, it might be SnakeRX. It might just be SNKRX. But this is kind of like an auto-battler action shooter snake kind of a game that I've been very excited to check out. I'm happy to have an uh, excuse to have a slot to... to to play it because I've been really itching to do so. But let's read this right here. There's no like title screen or anything. So this is just the uh, the help menu. Let's read right from here what the heck is going to go on and we will just get into it. You control a snake of multiple heroes that auto attack nearby enemies. You can steer them left or right by pressing A or D. You can combine the same heroes to level them up. Three level ones is a level two. Three level twos is a level three. At level three, heroes unlock special effects. Higher heroes of the same classes to unlock class passives. Each hero can have between one to three classes. You gain one interest per five gold up to a maximum of five. That means saving above 25 does not yield any more interest. So it is very much based off of what I'm reading here. It's like a, it's auto chess mixed with an arcade shooter with roguelike elements, which is, I, I like, these developers keep on making my dream game combos, but anywho, so we have a cleric who costs one, a swordsman who costs one. Uh, classes warrior. Deals 11 damage in an area. Deals extra 1.65 damage per unit hit. You know, healing effectiveness up. I feel like we might just want to like, I, I don't know if having two swordsmen warriors counts. Let's just figure it out. How about that? Uh, Yep, we own, it, it does say we've actually we actually own one, so uh, I guess we shall say whoops and move on. But maybe if we get some kind of a oh my god, hold up, we are uh, music's getting bumping. All right, where are we? This is okay. So this is us. So how do I? Okay, so if it's an auto battler, okay, okay. So we are literally, our goal is just to dodge. And since we have a melee character here, we want to stay in the general vicinity of the enemies. But I guess we, uh, did one of our swordsmen die or what? Not sure. Uh, okay. Rogue, chance to crit allied, trans, chance to crit two allied rogues dealing 4x damage. Scout throws a knife that does 13 damage and chains three times. Shoots an arrow that deals 12 damage and pierces. I don't know. Let's just get the whole kit and caboodle. So we can drag the order here. Ah, no, that's right. Okay, so we were buying another one to... I mean, oh well. So we can get him up to level two eventually soon here. So I guess it's not really that big of a deal. So no big deal. Wave one. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. So the archer back there is doing a little bit of piercing. I'm liking it. Depending on the type of uh, of characters you have, you will absolutely change up how you are going to uh, to move around. Okay, so maybe we do want to actually just save our money, or also maybe we could just level up our scout. I don't know. Reroll. Okay, so it costs two. So we can also lock our shop. That actually is going to be something we'll probably want to look into doing a little bit more. Uh, level three, hard. Okay. So we might want to, yeah, lock our shop a bit. Okay, okay, okay. So our rogue throws out, throws out little shots, don't they? Oh my god. Yeah, they have like a bouncy shot, if I remember correctly there. Uh-oh. As soon as we hit the corner, we kind of like do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of bump in there. Just want to see what kind of other... Cooldowns on Snake. New game plus difficulty. Current zero. Okay. All right. In addition to the stuff that we've got there, it looks like, yeah, there's there's a new game plus mode. Oh, no. So, yeah. Corner. Walls. Don't do it. No, sir. Not even once. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the, um, the rogue is doing okay. I, I guess it's because the where that was very much a, a section of uh, single targets. Ooh. 
plus 50% damage to rangers and rogues. All arrows fired by rangers have a 20% chance to knock back. Or hitting a wall grants 25% movement speed buff to your snake. I mean, let's go with the buff to rangers and rogues. Ranger, warrior, jester is a rogue and a cursor. How do we sell? It says sells for two. Oh, well, sold. All right, so... Bonus damage to rangers and rogues. What's the rogue benefit? We need three. We need three rogues to get the first benefit. We need three rangers as well. I'm going to buy those, and then I'm going to say cool. So we can also readjust how our party kind of uh, is laid out here. I don't know who wants to be in the back. Like, do we want do we want the longer range units to be in the back, or do we want them to be in the front? Curses five nearby enemies. Okay. They explode into knives on death. That's pretty cool. Shoots a projectile that does just does damage. Uh, fair enough. Shoots and damage and pierces. Alrighty. Let's go. This is this is pretty neat right now already. Is cert oh, all right. It's getting it's getting spicy. Can we uh, can we stay really far away from enemies? I think we can. Oh my god, we almost we almost went nuts there. I also want to know. Oh, that doesn't do much of anything there. It doesn't seem like... Fair enough. Oh my god. This is this is pretty darn cool already. Uh, we could get another archer. Spellblade would give us the rogue buff, which is a chance to crit to allied rogues doing 4x damage. Though we could just like sit... How about let's, let's lock it. We get uh, we get one interest for keeping the five gold, and I'm currently not having uh, much of any whoa much of any issue. Oh, SFX is just it's sound effects. I don't know why I was thinking v, uh, VFX. I read it. I just read it wrong. So the jester will only ooh the jester will only curse if uh, we are close though. I think. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, this is this is very, very unique. Do a little bit of a loop around. A little bit of a loop around. Kite him, kite him, kite him. Arena clear. We get the one extra interest there. We could just keep this locked. I don't know. Let's try that out. Uh, until I feel like maybe we're having a little bit more of an issue. I guess there's no reason why we... Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's not really much of a reason why we have to spend that stuff yet. Okay, that guy is... Is that like a boss? Is that... Is that being a boss? Uh-oh. Oh, no, man! Oh, no. No! Where am I? Somebody died. Who died? Oh, God. All right. I think it might have been a jester. Uh-oh. I think we might have uh, we might have pushed it too hard then. Okay, the, our archer in the back is having a rough time. No. Okay. All right, we pushed it too hard. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Stay at a distance. Arena cleared. Yikes. All right. So do we never get them back? Bonus AOE damage. Arrows have a twenty percent chance to knock back. Curse duration up. Here's the thing. We have the buff to the archers. Let's... Do we get them back? I think we do actually get them back. So let's unlock that. We have the rogue buff. We only have one archer still. Or one uh, ranger, I guess. All right. We get them all back. Ooh. That spell sword ability is pretty cool. There's something to be said about um, only having a small group of, like, really powerful units, too, because then you don't have the uh, the back that's more more vulnerable that way. That's so... That is so weird and unique. Like, look at that. Our spell sword. I think we want to bring him up probably closer to the front. 
I almost think the Jester might be okay in the back. Because I was like, oh, close range probably want to be that, that that's in the front. But I guess it, it kind of has different rules. This is not your normal... This is not your normal party-based RPG. This is anything but your normal party-based RPG. Oh my god. What the hell, man? This is wild. Okay, so there's a scout. I could. Cleric. Wait, a cleric is a... Oh, no. They're not a... They're not a ranger. I saw green and I got excited. Classes, healer, ranger. Stormweaver, enchanter. Bonus damage to all allies. If we get two of them, it does 15% bonus damage for all allies. All right. Uh, shoots a projectile. Let's see. Probably want our, like, more important units closer to the front, I guess. I don't know. Sure, something like something like this. Some something something like that, I guess. We could re-roll or we could keep our money. I'm trying to I'm trying to econ, but I guess we don't need to keep our money because we're currently at our maximum amount of money that we can generate via interest. So at this point there's now no longer No! No longer any point to uh to keep any more money. Wow, we lost somebody super fast. Who was it? It was, uh, that was the Jester. Okay. So I guess that, uh, that comes with a weird little bit of a benefit. Since it was the Jester, we can kind of play at a lo longer range now. And it's not too big of a deal. Whoa! Why were they able to get such a cool big buff? I wonder if there's any, like, active abilities we ever get. Or if there's, like, a, a speed booster. Or anything like that. Because obviously, like, that's a huge potential realm. Oh boy. For excitement. I would say, I like, I also, like, for arcade -y kind of reasons, I, I uh, appreciate and enjoy the simplicity of the characters. I wish that within the same class there was, like, maybe a symbol that got carried over. Alright, so, there's no longer a reason to hold on to our money. Infester. Extra Scout, Extra Vagrant. So down to 25. We can reroll down to 25. And there's really no uh, no issues with that whatsoever. Okay, and then we lock, we lock that. Because getting another Scout isn't going to matter anyways. Because the only way, I think... Level 3 effect, Dagger Resonance. 25% extra damage per chain and plus 3 chains. Pretty crazy. Champion, plus 10% damage, plus 10% attack speed per active set. Per active set. Okay. Cool. I'm with it. I'm with it. All right. So we can... Uh, we should probably be at a little bit more of a distance than we've been being. Oh, no. The Jester. Poor Jester. A little bit of a, a little bit of a cheeky circle. I think that white one shoots out bullets. Yes, it does. Oh my God! What? How do we deal with that? They they were like very well targeted on. Just get really far away, I guess. Oh no! How do I deal with you? Okay, who did we lose? We lost the spell sword. Oh shoot! I feel like they were pretty good. Yeah, I'm having a I'm having a big issue with these the white ones. Oh, so we can only move. Oh my god, the amount the type of dodging that we can do is not uh, not not big. You know, like we can just the best we can do is just continue moving in a direction. That's how we dodge these is by not getting fancy with the turns. Oh, that was tight. Oh, that was tighter than I'd like. What do we get? Bonus movement speed. Bonus damage, defense, attack speed to all allies with at least... All allies with at least one enchanter. All enemies take an additional 20% damage. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. The movement speed is probably like a smart thing to go for though, but... Launcher, Forcer, Cursor. Lich. Oh, my God. 
I mean, I'm trying to just go for the two, but I guess maybe I should have uh, should have branched out a little bit more. Engineer, like we can we can look into these in the future. Drop sentries that shoot burst projectiles. AOE damage stuns enemies hit. These are all like these are some cool ideas. Fairy healer enchanter. Beastmaster is a rogue. Uh, chance to crit to allied rogues. What does the Beastmaster do? Spawn two small critters if the Beastmaster crits. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, um, who is the least important here? I guess I'm kind of okay with you being in the back. All right. Okay. Out we go. Uh, I mean, I guess... Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot. We have... A lot of these are multi-class. Hold on. Hold on. Just because they are one color does not mean they are... Yeah. Okay. So we totally should have been getting cursors. We totally should have been getting swarmers. But I, I, again, though, I think that there is... There's a lot of interesting balance questions here. for Or team balance questions here. Because you have to remember that the length of your snake is a problem. Like, the, it, it causes this weird balance where it being so big is not, it's not good. Like, obviously it's more units, but it also makes you way more vulnerable. Especially the units in the back of the, the back of the group. It makes them really vulnerable. So it is this fickle balance where maybe it is best to, oh. Who did we lose? I don't know. Who, I don't know which one we lost. It might actually be best for us to focus on only two clans. I'm not sure. We're still alive, so that's what I'll say. Like, whatever the best thing to do is, we are still alive, so we can't. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Maybe we're on the final wave, though. If this is if this is the last of it, then we're totally okay. Arena cleared. All right, let's go. Hunter, Conjurer, so we don't have Conjurer, we don't have Forcer, Saboteur, Ranger, you know what, let's get stupid, maximum number of units reached, so seven is the maximum, okay, so there we go, once again, I'm not, it's not, not totally wrong here in in my plans. Um, it might be best to go get rid of the. Okay, so we have we have one too many rogues, kind of in a way. Uh, if we want to get the saboteur, what would they do? Summon damage and duration up. So who's my other conjurer? The hunter. Wait. Beastmaster is a swarmer. Does that count as a summon? Spawn critters, summon damage. Shoots an arrow that deals damage and a 20% chance to summon a pet. I don't know. Maybe maybe this uh, critter that gets spawned counts as a summon. Maybe it doesn't. That I'm not sure. But yeah, that opens up. Seeing that we have a max of seven, that obviously opens things up uh, to me. Like, that makes a lot of sense. Cause two saboteurs to seek targets and deal 100 or 130, 13 AOE damage. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm ditching the jester, bringing the saboteur. Hunter, don't we have the hunter? We do. All right. What do we got? Another hunter, another scout. We're one way, one away. Boom, from a level three scout there. Corruptor. If we have a ranger that we can get rid of, I guess we could just get rid of the plain old archer and add the corruptor, because then we can get a bonus rank of swarmer. Bonus hits to critters. I mean, we could. So rangers and rogues. In theory, every single person we have is a ranger and a rogue, right? Like they don't it doesn't have to be their main one, does it? I hope not. Uh okay. Shoots a projectile that does Wow, there's there's so much here. 
Spawns two small critters if the Beastmaster crits. Throws knives that deal 18.2 damage. I feel like we could maybe end up getting rid of the spell sword. I feel like that might not be the worst idea. As far as order goes, who freaking knows, man? I'm going to bring some level 2 people up, bring you up. I feel like the spell blade is okay if they're in the back. All right. And here we are. Okay, so this is the longest snake we can have. Oh, my. All right. That level 3 rogue is putting in some work. But, yeah, even, like, some kind of thing to, to make it clear that... Like, I do like the simplistic visuals, as as I'm saying. Like, But, yeah, something to make it clear which one's, like, a level 1, level 2, level 3. And just, like, just a brief symbol on them or some kind of, like... Something. Something to make it so that they... Oh! So that you know which one they are. I would, I would think that that'd be, that would be nice to get a little bit more attached to each specific circle. <laughs> uh, Jester, we don't have any room. Pyromancer. Yeah, we don't, no big deal on any of that. Bane, host. There's the archer we ditched past. Saboteur, sure. Barrager. We have a hunter we can get rid of, or a ranger we can get rid of. Swarmer, no. I don't know if we have a hunter we can get, or a ranger we can get rid of. Do we have? We have four rogues owned. Let's ditch you to get the barrager, because that gives us um that gives us this benefit, which is the the knockback force to all allies, which could help to keep everybody away. Shoots a barrage of three arrows, each dealing bonus damage and pushing enemies away. I feel like. Yeah, bring, keeping that guy around is probably going to be in our best interest. Vagrant, we might as well. Barrager, sure. Outlaw, what do you do? Throws a fan of five knives, each dealing 14.3 damage. Okay. There's our saboteur leveled up. And we're good. We're close to getting the Vagrant up to max, which... Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five active sets. So if he actually gets 15 per, or 50 percent damage and 50 percent attack speed, then we are we are building right, gang. Oh, that was not good. No, nope. oh man. Okay, okay. We can stay a little bit further away. We don't have the jester anymore, so there's not like a huge reason to get up close. Oh wait, what? Kill the elite. Choose one. All warriors gain five defense every second. Healing effectiveness. Uh, these are all useless to me, actually. No, I guess this technically, technically is the best thing because we do have a warrior. Oh, uh, but man, that's bad. Vagrant. Let's go. Engineer. Was one of these an engineer? No. No. Outlaw. Dual gunner. Oh, dual gunner makes, like, extreme sense. But who would we ditch? Who's not providing us that much help? It would have to, it would probably have to be... Oh, God. I don't know who to ditch. Ranger, Swarmer. We could try and go for the six thing for, uh, for the Rangers... But currently, since my... Oh, yeah, no. Maybe. Chance to release a barrage on attack to allied rangers. I mean, if we if we get the Vagrant up to max, I feel like that actually could be really good to go for that. Uh, but I am... Dang, if I am not super confused about what I want to do here. Sure. All right. So... What would we theoretically get? We would have to get rid of a a, a rogue to get the last ranger, though. And I definitely don't like that. I definitely don't like that. We can't get another scout, can we? Nope. Oh, R.I.P. Beastmaster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh boy, dual gunner, sure. 
tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. If we could have like an, if there's another character, oh, the vagrant's at maximum. Nice. Outlaw is not present. Okay. Well, I guess this is just going to have to be good enough. We got the Vagrant up to max, though, so he should be doing some pretty filthy damage. And truthfully, like, yeah, if we can't get ourselves up to... Uh, if we're not going to get ourselves up to max archers or rangers or whatever, then we really shouldn't probably have five. Unless we really want them to all to have that knockback. Because we can make that Vagrant... God, this game is so strategically wild for a game that is literally snake. Oh boy. It's here's the thing. Here's what this is. It's what if an auto battler but like you had something to do, you know? And it's that thing is pretty like arcadey actiony goodness. So it's really like yeah, it, it's oh, this is so clever. God, this is clever. I don't know what I'm looking for. Nuker. Do we have a barrager? Have we been skipping the barrager? Again, it's so hard to, like, really get a good idea. So we can get rid of the swarmer. We can get rid of the swarmer one if it, it'll help us fulfill something else I don't I, I have a feeling there's not another character that does both ranger and rogue which is obviously what we'd be looking for the most oh my god no Okay, stay to distance, stay to distance. We got our rangers, they got good knockback. So we can just go, whoop. We can get a little bit of a distance and then just find a place to do a little bit of a circle. And I feel like that's actually okay for us. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. What is the purple one? It seems like it it has some kind of critters come out after it dies. It seems to be the case. Oh, but oh, but oh, bo, bo. Plague Doctor, Nuker Voider. Creates an area that deals 13 damage per second. Engineers drop sentries. These are these are this is so cool. Shoots a slow projectile that draws enemies in. There's the spell blade, of course, the basic archer. We know all these now. Cannoneer. Did we get the cannoneer? We did not take the cannoneer. I mean, we could, but it's just like, are we, are we going to take another nuker? I don't know if we're going to take another nuker. We've seen vagrants. Infestor. Again, we did not take the cannoneer. Oh, boy. I mean, is there a reason to save our money, though? I don't think so. I don't think there, there, there is, from what I can tell. All right. Set up a circle. Oh, th is that... Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's the... Uh, <laughs> that's the saboteur. And then the two tiny little Ooh, the two tiny little circles are, I assume, the pets from the the Beastmaster, right? Or did we keep the Beastmaster or did we ditch him? <clears throat> oh, oh. Alright, alright, alright. Circle up. Oh. Thank you for not releasing any purple oh, purple boys. Is that our pet? No, that's our bomb. Pet? Pet or bomb? Who even knows? 
I was like, I wish that there was a setting to turn off the kind of like uh, background moving as we do. Attacks by mages, nukers, and voiders have a chance to create a void rift. Taking damage also shares that. Taking damage also shares that across all enemies at 25% value. Chance to create three secondary AoEs on AoE hit. I don't know how many AoEs we have, so like, just kind of like having uh, the ability to just reflect damage back sounds good to me. All right. Corruptor shirt. Do we still have to, we we ditched the jester a while ago? Assassin. Throws a piercing knife that deals 16.9 damage and bonus day and also poisons them, basically. Okay. Dual gunner, don't mind if I do. Spellblade Jester, Flagell. Oh, we went under 25. Oh, we we're getting bumping. Big bumping. I don't remember what the green one does. But you... Oh, no. Sneak, sneak, sneak. That could have been bad. Could have been bad. Blue, like, sp speeds them up in, like, a burst there? Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. So those blue ones, I think, are going to dash at me. Maybe. Or they blow up in a blast? Yeah, they do. I guess the burst was somebody else. Ooh! That movement. That snake movement. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, okay. That was the last wave. I saw wave seven. I thought we just got to it. Hunter. Wait. We don't have the max hunter yet. I think we did ditch the beast man. We did ditch the beast master. Saboteur. All right. So far, so fine, though. So far, so fine. Man. Okay. Circle up. So the white ones are the ones that give the speed boost, maybe? Like, kind of like a an assist type character? Bounce along the wall. Oh! No! Oh, no. Okay. So, which one speeds them up when we kill them? Seems like there's one that maybe, like, whenever they get hit, they speed up everybody. Green? Green one? Really? Oh! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, my God. No! So we should try and avoid the green ones when we can. Oh, baby. Hunter, yes. Ways away still, though. Don't need the archer. So are we committed to this? Is this... I feel like I'm kind of committed to this, but it's, it's just like it is kind of too many rangers, I guess. But who would I ditch? He's giving me Forcer. These two are giving me Forcer. And I'm getting Conjurer from him. The Vagrant is, is too beneficial to us right now. Ranger and Swarmer. We could ditch the Corruptor if somebody else was going to give us something cooler. But I think that we might have seen... All types of enemy or all types of characters at this point. It's possible. This is a boss fight. I wonder if there is oh, is gonna be like a type of boss fight. Oh no. Not like this. Kill the elites. Nice. Projectiles that chain gain damage with each chain. All knives thrown by rogues chain initial two times. 
tough. That's tough. I want both of them. Mm. Don't know about that. We have the corruptor. We do indeed. Just double checking. We can't do that. Be smashed. We don't need it. There's nothing else to spend money on, right? Am I crazy? There's no, there's no leveling up. Infestor, cannoneer. Did we take the cannoneer? Nope. All right. Do, 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 do. Get out of here. Get out of here. Stay at a distance. Eat my dust. Eat my snake dust. Oh my god. They are they are certainly dying big time. I feel like going for that. Yeah, the the bounce damage up when we have the rogue as our oh our front line big guy. It's pretty good. All right. S circle on him. Just do donuts. Just do donuts on him. Style on him. All right. What is this? Vagrant is the, the ranger. Okay. I just had to double check that. Saboteur. I guess we could just like... <laughs> Theoretically, we could just do that. Did, did, did it. Level 20, we're almost we're almost at the the ending here and things have gotten like we've stopped we've stopped taking too much damage. Like we've uh I think we we built ourselves up strong. I think we made some decent choices. We have the 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 mass amount of rangers I think like you could argue would be bad because we're not getting the six the six buffer benefit. It is really annoying. But we are getting the rogue benefit as a result, and I think the rogues are really helping us out here. That's not going to be good. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's a little a little spicier. Da -da 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 Eight waves. Eight waves, you say. Oh, they're going to dash at me. That was bad. I mean, that's the problem with my bill is that I got those guys that pierce, you know? And if we if we pierce, we hit the green guys and the green guys chase us! We're fine. Woof! Woof, woof, woof! Dual gunner, yes. Checking. Jester, wizard, sage. We don't have an outlaw, do we? Nope. Hunter. We're getting close to the dual gunner. You know what? How many are left? We're, we're at 21. We could probably uh, cash out our econ soon, though. We're just getting an extra five gold every turn right now. So it's kind of just like... Without other things to buy... Other than pieces, it kind of just feels like 25 might as well, 25 gold might as well be zero gold until the last few waves, right? You know what I'm saying? So like maybe if we could buy items for like a really expensive price, oh boy. But you'd probably have to get less items from the normal run then. There's 10 waves here. This is spiced. Spiced indeed. Come on, knockback, save me. Okay. Oh, knockback, save me. Knockback, save me. Ooh. Oh, no. Who did we lose? We lost uh, maybe like the saboteur or something. I'm not sure. Oh, that was tight. Wave eight. Wave eight. We, we could. Who knows? Could be bad. Wave nine. So far, so fine. Oh god. We spawned in the stupid spot. Okay, that's this is still wave nine, apparently. This is wave ten. Oh my god. Oh my god. We weaved 
weaving right through the danger zone. Oh. Yikes. Boom, 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 boom. Area size and damage per second. Area attacks deal bonus damage per hit. Arrows fired by rangers have a chance to seek enemies and pierce four times. Whoa, that's pretty big. Pretty big upgrade for us. Pretty big upgrade for us. Uh, all right, so... What the heck, who's messaging me? Not right now. Not right now! Corruptor. Oh, we're almost there. What do you got? All right, uh... Spawn three small critters if the Corruptor hits an enemy. Also, you're level three. The dual gunner is level three. Every fifth attack, shoot in rapid succession. Let's bring our level threes up closer to the front. I feel like they're a little bit less likely to get hit uh, when they're up in the front. A little bit less likely. So we're at 22. Oh, boy. So this should, in theory, be a pretty big power spike. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm noticing that, uh, I'm noticing those extra ads for sure. Holy crap. That's making a pretty big difference for sure. Okay, just, just go along the bottom. Turn around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Disgusting. So powerful. What the hell, man? This is, this is busted. I should have gone for a swarmer build, huh? funny i'm noticing yeah like wow that the builds probably can get really different because these are um these are helping me counteract the greens because when they chase me down they have to go through my wall my wall of children and they can't make it they can't make it through my wall of children it's too mighty too darn mighty i didn't know if we had one of those Yeah, at this point, I don't know where, what we're looking for. Wow. Yeah, we're like... We're pretty darn maxed out. Hunter. Wait. Yeah, Hunter, Barrager, Saboteur. All right. Well, we can just keep on going here. Maybe we'll cash out next uh, next round. But we're we're pretty beefy now. I feel like we just hit a big power spike. Oh, man. Oh, man. So he's spawning those when he hits an enemy, and we have the thing that makes it so they pierce and hit more enemies. So we're spawning even more. So we... On top of the fact that they're probably doing an extra 50% damage because of our, uh, our benefit, and we do have the spawner bonus, that's what's leading to all of this happening. It's kind of nuts. I love it. It is kind of nuts, and I kind of love it. Oh, boy. We can maybe even just, like... We might be powerful enough to literally just, um... Donut on their face here. Sit in the circle and donut. Do donuts on them. This is the snake equivalent of T-posing on them. Alright. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we don't have to do anything right now. We beefed ourselves up something fierce. All right. All right. 24 elite saboteur. Hunter, nice. I keep on thinking that we have have to get that. Dang it. Um uh, Hunter. You know, whatever. We don't know what the final fight is, because maybe it's something really nasty. So maybe we should just make sure that we have the strongest possible chance to get our level threes. That And that was... <laughs> we really did not need help there. Uh, periodically deal 10 times damage to enemies, where X is... 10X damage to enemies. X is how many mages you have. 
Uh, crits from rogues deal 8x damage, but normal attacks deal half damage. I don't know, sure. Probably a bad idea. What do we what do we even need at this point? Hunter, Barrage, or Saboteur? It Hunter. Barrage. Saboteur. Oh my god, in order. Uh Barrage and Saboteur. Got the hunter. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, so basically the basically the saboteur. Rip. Okay. All right. Hello, boss. I have a feeling that you are not going to be any issue for me. Congratulations! You've beaten the game! I made this game in three months as a dev challenge. I'm happy with how it turned out. If you liked it liked too, want to play more games like this, boop, follow me on Steam. I'll release more games this year, so stay tuned. Uh, I believe, as far as I'm aware... So yeah, New Game Plus. First of all, obviously, there's New Game Plus. I don't know how far it goes. Uh, it, it, <laughs> hold on, how do we... I mean, on top of the fact that there's completely different ways to play, I don't know how far it goes as far as this new game plus, but alas, that is that, though. This has been uh, Snake RX or SNK RX. This game is fantastic. This is really, really clever, really cool. Auto battler, ro action arcade roguelike with snake elements. <laughs> I. Like, I see these things and I just like. There's certain pitches where I just know they're going to hit me right. And boy, this hits me right. And for the price of $3, this is pretty cool. Like, how much long-term replayability is there? I would imagine there's, like, a decent amount. This seems like a perfect, perfect. Just sit down and, and, and noodle with it for an hour, uh, like, every few days kind of a game. Like, perfect for that. If you only have, like, you know, I only got like 45 minutes to an hour worth of uh, time to play games every every couple of days. And and I like these elements. Uh, like seeing the auto chess, the very clear auto chess inspired elements brought into uh, an action roguelike action. It's a shaky, shaky action, shaky action roguelike. It's very much an arcade, arcadey roguelike. Uh, you know, obviously all we get to do is, is move around and dodge and avoid, but that's still way more involvement than a lot of other auto battlers. So the fact that it, it's it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting to have something, anything to do. You are controlling it. You do have to dodge, which may be a deal breaker for some and an absolute deal maker for others. For me, it is a deal maker. This game is fantastic. Uh, it has my full unbridled uh, suggestion to you. I had a blast with it with this 45 minutes, 48, 48 minutes. Wow, that went so fast. Uh, it, it it felt relatively like it, it did not feel too hard um, to me right now. Might be, maybe it'll be hard to you. Like maybe we just got a busted build, but there's also new game plus at least it says new game plus one. So that leads me to believe there is more than this new game plus and, and for, if difficulty is your concern, it looks like that might be a possibility for it to get more difficult in the future. But that's going to do it for now. If you like roguelikes, if you liked this video, like the video. Because, like, that, cause like, that's what you do, man. Scoob. Uh, but, hey, comment down below. Let me know if you like this game, if you'd like to see more of this in the future. And if you enjoy roguelikes, if you enjoy that, that typical genre, you definitely are going to want to subscribe to this channel. I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. I can show you all kinds of cool new games that your your wallet is going to be upset about, but you're going to be happy about. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.